What's got 5,000 nits, 5,000 local dimming zones, and 115 inches? Let's chat about that. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Caleb Dennison. Can I pour you a drink? Uh, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm a little bit punchy, but not as punchy as the TV that I'm about to tell you about. Um, we're posted up at some casino hotel in Las Vegas. It's loud here, it's annoying, but this is the spot I could find to shoot this video because I had to get it ready to go out on time tomorrow. TCL has introduced, as far as I'm aware, the largest consumer television ever to be shipped into the United States. I'm talking about, here's the model number, 115 qm 891G. Now for the sake of brevity and going forward into the rest of 2024, we will refer to this as the QM89. So think QM8 from last year, their top tier flagship TV level, which it still will be this year, except now they're adding another tier to it. The QM89 is a 115 inch monster with, as I said before, up to 5,000 nits peak brightness using 5,000 zones of local dimming and folks, it is really something to behold. It's about a 200 pound TV. From what I understand, it's gonna ship on a pretty slim pallet, okay? I do recommend a professional installation for something like this, but other than a little bit of muscle power, this TV is not gonna be that difficult to get set up, as I'm told. You open the box, you move a couple of pieces of foam out of the way, you can install the legs, and then you get four of these heavy metal pegs, which actually screw into the side of the TV, and then you lift this guy up and put it into place. Or you need to drill into about three studs and then you can wall mount it. 115 inches, you guys, that is absolutely massive. And first impressions of the TV are pretty good. Uh, it was in its vivid mode. It was showing some compressed content from a USB drive. I don't wanna say too much about it, but what I can tell you is that it did appear to exhibit some very good blooming control. The off angle viewing was way better than I expected. I have no idea what this TV is going to cost. Uh, I do think it's gonna cost a pretty penny. It's 115 inches. Just shipping this thing is gonna be expensive. And I do think that that cost is gonna be passed on to the consumer. But folks, I promised you that we would be talking about some very big news coming from CES. This is literally the big news, 115 inch TCL monster TV. Now, TCL still has a whole lineup of totally normal TVs and they've got some surprises in how they've changed the stratification of their televisions. We're gonna have all of that in a video coming up very soon. We're gonna go through each of the model numbers, explain them, explain what kind of specs that you can expect from those, and maybe have another conversation about the most high value TV that's coming to the US this year. Uh, for now, I just wanted you to enjoy this eye candy, this absolutely massive 115 inch TV that really calls into question whether UST projectors make any sense whatsoever. We'll find out. I think that's gonna be a fun 2024 question to delve into. That's it for now, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, slap it with a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you see all of our CES coverage. I'll see you on the next one. And until then, here's two other videos I think you might like.